What's up guys, Toy House here, and today we're going to talk about five secret rare items to hunt for in Phase 1 Classic TBC. Now if you're like me, you're getting a little bored with Phase 1 and you're looking for some new challenges while we wait for Phase 2 to drop, hopefully soon. And so, I have discovered five items that are quite rare that if you want a challenge, you can try to go get them. So today, we're going to go through those five items and hopefully give you some tips on how to acquire them. Now, some of you may say, oh my gosh, I already know about these. I can see it in the comments section already. Secret? You're calling this secret? This isn't secret? Well, to me, I was like, this is so rare, it might as well be a secret. And to some people, it might be. So, let's start with number one, Mr. Pinchy. Now, this guy is fished up from a Highland pool only. Basically, there's three main areas where you can fish up Mr. Pinchy. You can do it in uh, Blackwind Lake in uh, Skedis. There's going to be a bunch of pools there. You can also get it uh, just southeast of the Alliance town of Illyria and Hold. Um, there's going to be some pools there. And then there's also going to be another town uh, just northwest of of um, the Horde Town in Tarot Car Forest. So really, it's Tarot Car Forest, and there's three main areas, I just dropped my pen, where you can where you can fish up Mr. Pinchy. He's super rare. You know, the chances of getting him are very, very low. And what's, what's really interesting about Mr. Pinchy is even if you fish him up, um, you know, what you're actually going for, the rarest thing that Mr. Pinchy, the most sought-after thing, I should say, with Mr. Pinchy is the Magical Crawdad box containing a Magical Crawdad non-combat pet. So that's really what we're after here. Uh, it's super rare. Not many people have it. I've never, I haven't seen it once yet on Benediction, the most populated WoW server. So, I mean, if you want to go after this, you know, you, you're going to have people being like, ooing and eyeing at what you found. So definitely something uh, I recommend. Um, once you catch, catch Mr. Pinchy, in order to get the Magical Crawdad box, you basically have to use Mr. Pinchy. He's got a two-day cooldown. He's got three charges. You know, if you, we, we do some super quick mental math here, we can figure that we can basically, in six days, use up all of Mr. Pinchy's charges. Um, so, you know, there's a couple options. Each time you use Mr. Pinchy something different will probably happen. And of the things that can happen, number one, you could summon a level 70 non-elite guardian, which will assist you in battle for 10 minutes. Yeah, non-elite is an understatement. This thing is a weak piece of sh... Um, he is, uh, he's not the strongest uh, creature to help you. Um, but yeah, you summon up basically... Um, basically, it should just be a non-combat pet for freak's sake. I mean, seriously, what is this thing? Anyways, you get uh, you get a, a, a one option is to get a guardian, which will assist you in battle. <laughs> the other option is you can get a gift box with five super healing potions and five super mana potions. Uh, this is actually nice because I like making gold, and that means gold. He basically gives you a gift gift box full of gold. So throw those on the auction house if you're me. Uh, magical Crawdad box containing a Magical Crawdad non-combat pet. This is what we're after. Um, so if you get that option, you did it. Congrats. You have a super secret rare item uh, in phase one. And then, of course, the worst option out of all, you can get Furious Mr. Pinchy, a level 70 non-elite attacks you and your party or whoever's around you. He has 6,000, or sorry, yeah, about 6,000 health. Um, he's decently strong. I don't know. I mean, not that strong, but he's going to attack you. Um, you actually also have one other thing that can happen to you. You can get Mr. Pinchy's Blessing. Uh, it increases your health, uh, and it also persists through death, and it's considered a flask. So it's a two-hour it's a two hour Mr. Pinchy flask. So uh, that can happen. Uh, and also, by the way, Mr. Pinchy, uh, reference to, most likely a reference to uh, The Simpsons' Mr. Pinchy. Um, so that's it. That is number one secret rare item to hunt for in phase one while you're bored, if you're bored. Number two, now this is where I can see people in the comments already. People be like, this, this ain't secret and ain't rare. <laughs> All right, but but this is definitely rare. Uh, number two is the Fiery War Horse's Reins. Yes. So I've actually seen one of these only. This is from a tomb in the Huntsman. So first boss of Karazhan. If you're not a pve -er, you might not know about this. You know, add this mount to your collection. Night, night, bane, nightmare, nightmare. The pet or the the horse. You know, um, he's basically, uh, he, you know, a tomb in the huntsman drops his horse, right? 
and it's called the Fiery War Horses Reigns. It's got a 0.9% drop rate. I've been running Kara for 11 weeks now, 12 weeks, something like that. I have not seen one drop yet. So, um, I mean, you'd have to run it, you know, statistically speaking, about 100 times, you know, if you were to expect to see it drop once if you're, you know, unlucky or just average luck. Um, so super rare. If you want to aim for it, I just recommend running Kara every single week. Have a lot of gold on you. Try to buy out the winner of the roll or uh, something like that. But um, yeah, super rare. And if, you, if you're if you looking for super rare stuff, Fiery War Horses Reigns is something to aim for. Number three, we have Orb of the Black Whelp. This will transform you into a Black Whelp for 15 minutes, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you ever wanted to join the Black Dragon Flight, I mean, now's your chance. It's basically sold by a vendor in Blades Edge Mountains, which is actually hostile to you and everyone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, it's in a cave with a bunch of other hostile mobs. And the only way to interact with this vendor is to kill the mobs around, you know, and inside and outside of this cave until you get five costume scraps. Once you get the five scraps, you can then, you know, turn them into a costume, uh, use that and be able to interact with the vendor to buy the orb of the Black Whelp, uh, among other items. But this this particular item, Orb of the Black Whelp, um, is one of really the only items I can think of that can turn you into a Black Whelp. Um, so it's really, really cool. Um, you know, I would... You know, I'd recommend going to a major city and turning yourself into a whelp and everyone be like, WTF, bro, how'd you turn into a whelp? Uh, and, you know, that's always fun. I haven't seen anyone do this either. So, um, you know, it could be something fun to do, something to aim for. It has limited charges. So, unfortunately, you know, buy a few if you can. Um, but, yeah, also another really cool rare item. Number four, I've seen this one all over the place. I think it's a little bit... Um, known by some of the more hardcore players. But to most of us, myself included, I was like, yo, where did you get that? And soon that can be you if you listen to this. Number four is the Illidari Tabard. Now, you've probably seen this, but you basically need to kill an elite mob in Shadowmoon Valley called Val Zarek, the Conqueror. Basically, you kill him, and you loot his corpse, you'll get the Journal of Valzarek, and it's going to start you along this quest chain. Um, you know, you can go turn it, that into the uh, Crystal Prison, up the stairs in the Path of Conquest. Then you start the last quest, which, you know, you probably want a group of five to do, which it'll summon four waves of enemies, and then at the end of that, there'll be a boss, uh, basically. And then once you complete that quest, you go to Shatrath City, um, uh, speak with a doll and turn in the quest and you receive a chest which has a chance to reward you with one of uh, these two Illidari tabards. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get the Illidari tabard. Um, so yeah, you need someone to help you, obviously. You can't. You probably can't solo this, honestly. Um, but it's super rare and it's super cool. And uh, it looks, I mean, it looks pretty sweet if you ask me. And number five, the last secret rare item to hunt for in phase one while you're waiting for phase two to come out is the X-52 rocket helmet. Now, most people don't probably do every single quest, you know, and this is probably one of those quests where they're just like, eh, I don't care. I'm not doing this quest. Well, basically, the quest where you need to defend the Fell Reaver from the bigger Fell Reaver actually rewards the X-52 rocket helmet. So this rocket helmet is kind of cool because it launches you into the air, uh, looks kind of cool, and that's that in itself makes it something that's fun and cool. So, you know, and again, this is another item I just really don't see people using at all, like around me for fun. I don't know. Um, it could definitely, it's definitely not something I've ever seen used, actually. So it's pretty rare. I doubt people realize that it's, it can, you can have some fun with it. Um, so, and I doubt many people complete this quest because, uh, once again, this is probably a quest that you're going to want some, some help with. Um, and, and, and frankly, I think most people don't do this quest. So the X-52 rocket helmet is our fifth item on our list for a secret rare item to hunt for in phase one of TBC classic coming in phase two. There's a whole bunch more new secret rare items to hunt for, um, that when, when phase two launches, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but for today, that's the end of our video. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want more World of Warcraft content, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Toy House, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.